In order to share your library with other researchers, you need to go to, for Windows users, the File menu and look for the option to share. This will only be active if you have synced your library. Clicking on the share option will show you who you've already shared with and what permissions and status those invitations might be. In order to invite someone, click into the invite more people field and enter their email addresses. I'm going to give read and write permission to the team attached to this email and send the invite. So I can see that the status is pending. At any point, you can click on the share option to see how my statuses are going. The share invitation arrives by email and it has a clickable link so that they can access your library. The person receiving the invitation for the shared library needs to fill in the form on the Clarivate site in order to access the information. Once they've done so, in order to see a shared library, you simply need to select File and Open Shared Library from within your EndNote software. It will list any shared libraries and you'll be able to access the content. It's important to note that it does not download a copy of the library to your computer. You are essentially accessing the information online. The first time you open up a shared library, you'll see the group structure get recreated and then the records will start to come down. It will take a little while for the first access of that shared library. After that, you should find it to be quite quick to open. Please remember, you do not get a copy of the library saved to your computer. It is all accessed through EndNote Online. You can see which of the libraries you're accessing. It's listed up in the top of the screen with the person's email address. Your access will be determined by what rights they've given you. If you click on the sync status, even though it's my email that is showing up the top here, I am currently looking at this accounts library. So my colleague Jane has uploaded her library to on EndNote Online. All the changes have been received on my computer. She has 623 references that have been connected and I have permission down the bottom here to read and write. What that means is that I can make changes to the library uh, if there is material that we are working on. The permissions are set, uh, but you can change them in your uh, sharing options. You can also click on this little bell to see what changes were made at various times and who made the changes to the group. If you revoke access to your shared library, they will get an email to tell them that they have no longer have access. As you can see, I can't share this library on because I don't own it. So the share option is greyed out. I hope you found this uh, little series of tutorials about syncing and sharing useful. It has been much simplified with the release of EndNote 20. Thank you.